Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing the finals on the Steam Deck. So this game is a free to play game, Unreal Engine 5, and it says unsupported by Valve due to the anti-cheat. But apparently with the latest Proton ex experimental update, we're actually able to play and the game doesn't kick us out due to easy anti-cheat. So I'll show you my settings. We'll be targeting 40 FPS due to the... Um, CPU usage in the game is quite a bit CPU limited when targeting 60 FPS. So settings basically 800p, balanced XCSS. There's also FSR2 and TAAU. In this case, I'd say XCSS is the best looking one. There's a tiny bit of ghosting, but in comparison to FSR2 and TAAU, it really looks the best. It, it lowers the performance a little bit further than these other two, a little bit less performing, but visually I think it's the best. Motion blur off, RTX level illumination, we're using static, so no RTX reflections. And it's basically a mix between medium and high, maybe textures, we keep them on medium. Global illumination resolution on low, because the game still has global illumination. And yeah, this is my 40 FPS target, let's get into it. So while this is loading, there's one big issue. I'm using a mouse and keyboard, but when the cursor shows up after using the Steam overlay, you get those stutters and the game is unplayable. So in this game, at least right now, I recommend not using a mouse and keyboard. Just use the Steam Deck controls. I'm going to unplug my mouse and keyboard. Okay, there we go. And I'll see you inside the game. So, unfortunately, again, mouse and keyboard I couldn't use. It's going to stutter a little bit more due to the unlock FPS. So again, this is my 40 FPS target, just to be as consistent as possible. You can destroy basically everything. <laughs> That's when it likes to drop frames. Yeah, not a 100% perfect. But I, it works. I'm pretty surprised it works the way it does. Oh, that's an enemy. <laughs> that's from my teammate. As I was saying, it's an Unreal Engine 5 game with lots of destruction. So that's kind of the point of the game. And using that mix of medium and high was good enough in most cases. How do I go upstairs? Oh. So yeah, it likes to drop. Another alternative is to also use FSR instead. That it looks more blocky. But it'll give you a few extra frames. The thing is, when explosions show up, we are very CPU limited. This box. I just... Oh yeah, I can go through the wall. I, I forget. <laughs> Although I, <laughs> I screwed up there. <laughs> oh man. Once they kill me... Oh, really? He disappeared? Are to make a name for First cash out started. Man. This is my second match, so apologies for the gameplay. I'm just here to destroy stuff. Very impressive. Oh, I cannot double jump. Okay. Contestant left for the ultra rares. Alas, the ultra rares have been wiped out. They are as scarce as hen's teeth now, Scotty. Okay, sorry, teammates. I'm going to change to FSR2 unbalanced. So here you got the alternative. Looks worse, but it performs a little bit better. Should help with those explosions. But again, Unreal Engine 5, in a way, it's not like Battlefield, like many people were saying. 
in the way that this doesn't have as many players. It's like six people, I think, in this match. Sorry, uh, nine people. So yeah. I think FSR2 on balance makes a little bit more sense. And as I was saying, it has fixed the fixed uh, weather system. Like the lighting has like a few variations in the map. It's not 100% dynamic. Which makes sense, it's a multiplayer competitive game. Whoops. Okay, come on. Uh, almost got him. Anyway, so that's my first part in hand without handheld. We're going to jump into handheld now and see how well or how bad <laughs> it maintains 40s. So, one sec. In handheld, I locked it to 40 hertz using the system wide refresh rate thing. And let's see how it fares. But already the CPU doesn't like the destruction so far. But let's see how it goes. <laughs> it's a very good looking game. I'm pretty impressed. Especially in the destruction side of things. Let's open that. Not sure if there is fall damage, apparently not. That's a good thing. Okay. I need to get the money to <laughs> to open this. Ah, destruction! Although this map seems to be less demanding than the one in the casino. And with that encounter, we've got our first elimination. I hope we get to see more of that. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm completely lost. The UI is a little bit small for the Steam Deck. Look at the top shells last contestant go. Lots of heart out there. Okay. I can shoot without fall. Okay. So effects is on medium because otherwise we will lose these reflections. It will look completely flat in that regard. I'm trying as always uh, trying to do a balance of visuals and performance. I tried the lowest settings with performance FSR2. And I still couldn't maintain 60s, nowhere close. And even at 40, the CPU is almost maxed out, especially with destruction happening. Really. Okay. So, as I was saying, with, with destruction happening, the CPU was maxed out, and it's very close to maxed out in those instances with um, even 40 FPS. But again, considering it runs at 60 on PS5 and Xbox Series S and Series X, I mean, it's not that I'm not surprised, but I'm surprised that the Steam Deck can get 40s. 30s was my expectation, saying, okay, it's UE5, it has global illumination, it has lots of good destruction, and it's multiplayer. But I was wrong. It's actually doable. The thing is, the easy anti-cheat blocking the Steam Deck was happening before. And right now, with Proton Experimental, it seems to be doing well. I don't know for how long it will be like that, but when I tried other games with easy anti-cheat, it just kicked me out right away. I couldn't even play the game. 
So don't expect to be banned or anything. At least so far I wouldn't be concerned about it. Again, if I was playing any other game that didn't work with due to the anti-cheat, I definitely couldn't even play. So hopefully this means that the game will eventually be verified. So far it's been a lot of fun. I played it two or three matches only. I mean the UI is a little bit small for the for the screen. But I'm pretty impressed, really. It looks pretty good even with upscaling. So if you're interested in the game, it's completely free to play. With Proton Experimental, it launches without an issue. The first time when it loads CC anti cheat, the game will crash. And then you launch it again and it's fine. It seems that the first time setup does that. But other than that, it works pretty well. Mind blown. Just make sure to not use mouse and keyboard. For some reason, it's just not... It just stutters all over the place using mouse and keyboard. Seems to be a, a bug with, the, with playing on Linux. Because it seems that it's using the cursor, the system cursor, instead of something in game. Kind of weird. But good thing I noticed. Man, wrong buttons every time. Jesus Christ. <laughs> also, I streamed this a few hours ago, so if you're interested in see how it runs on a Windows PC, there are links in the description. But so far, so good. Pretty impressed. Just make sure to lock it to 40 to avoid the CPU doing extra work. The tough shells are the arena. But other than that, I think it's worth playing on Steam Deck. Even if you're terrible on mouse and, on mouse and keyboard. If you're, if you're terrible on, <laughs> on controller like I am. It's still enjoyable. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys, I'll let you know if this ever doesn't work with Proton Experimental for some reason. But I'm guessing this is eventually going to be verified, which I'm super excited about, because it also has crossplay. Imagine going to a friend's house, he has a PS5, launches this game, you launch it on your Steam Deck, you play together. It's like if, like if it was split screen, so yeah, super excited to do that. See you next time guys.